All right, guys, uh, this is November 2023 exam uh, for power machines and five air compressors. We just want to utilize this as a revision on what we have already covered. So it was just eight marks on air compressors and the clearance was not given. So it was a nice question to consider. Uh, remember, we had an introduction about this. So we were given, it is a single acting, nothing to worry about there, reciprocating, compressor takes in 15 cubic meters of air per minute. So thus I am given the effective volume of 15 uh, cubic meters per minute. Remember volume per unit time. At this pressure at the inlet of 110 kilopascal and temperature, which is 15 degrees Celsius, so if we add 15 plus 273, that will be 288 uh, Kelvin. So, and compresses it to a temperature of, so it was compressed to a temperature of uh, T2, 400 uh, Kelvin already converted according to this law PV to the exponent of 1,2. So N being 1,2, the speed at 280 revolutions per minute. Is supposed to be a maintained, ignore the clearance volume. The gas constant is supposed to be taken as what? 0 0.289, okay? Kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Calculate the delivery pressure, the delivery pressure. So if you check, we talked of similar question, similar question. And I, uh, it was just, it, it's just a repetition from that, from our introduction that we had. So see, it's very, very similar. And I said from your gas laws. Remember, from our gas laws, we talked about this T two over T one. We've got temperature and a uh, 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 volume. I mean, and pressure. T two over T one is equal to P two over P one to the exponent of n minus one over n. If I have got the volumes, I'm gonna equate to the volumes, which is gonna be V one over V2 to the exponent of N minus one, but I do not have volumes, it's a waste of time. I've got temperatures there and I want to calculate uh, the pressure at the deliver. And I said, we can just remove this N over N minus one. How do we remove this? All right, just gonna multiply here by N over N minus one. So you do the same thing to the exponent of N over N minus one. So take note, what you want to remove is to remain with P, Two. So you find the reciprocal, just like we are given x to the exponent of 1 over 2 is equal to 3. How do you solve for x? You find the reciprocal of this to the exponent of 2 over 1 to the exponent of 2 over 1. So that this cancels, you remain with x. So the moment you find the reciprocal is just interchanging this. So this cancels so that this will just cancel. You're just remaining with what? You're just remaining with p2 over 1, p1. This is what you're just remaining with, P2 over P1, which is equal to what this part, T2 over T1 to the exponent of what? N over N minus one. So on the other end, what you did on the other side is what you do on the other side. So to find the P2, I can simply just multiply by P1 here, multiply by P1 here so that this cancels. So therefore P2 is equal to P1, into T2 over T1 to the exponent of N over N minus one, just like that. We can use this formula to find uh, the pressure. So thus, therefore, uh, P2 was gonna be given as P1. Remember, we have this at the inlet. The pressure was 110. So thus 110 into T2 at the exit, the temperature given 400 T1, 288 from the temperature that we're given in, uh, in a degree Celsius. So there we are simply uh, substituting, all right? We are simply having uh, a substitution there. So that was 200, 400, sorry, 400 over 288. 288 to the exponent of N uh, for a polytropic. Remember, these are practical calculations. N is 1,2. So you're gonna raise to the exponent of one comma two over one comma two minus one. So that's we've got the pressure in kilopascal. That's it.
So that's our P2. In that case, it was going to be 789,583 in in kilo pascal we have our we have our pressure pressure there that was the idea that was the idea okay so i'm um, just going to take this p2 so this is how you play around with these persons you just have to be careful uh manipulation uh and also the to know that this is a direct application of your guess loss so your p2 was going to be, remember we got 789,583 uh, kilopascal. Why are we actually calculating this P2? You see that we need it in the calculation of the work done in kilojoules. Work done in kilojoules. Take note, what do they want? They want work done in kilojoules. Remember there's work done per second, which is equal to power, power, power. So it's either you calculate the power, then, you determine the work done per second from the power that you calculated. Or what do you do? I say that if you use, or if you want to calculate the work done in kilojoules, in our introduction, we said this is called the work done per cycle. The work done per cycle is taken from the formula P1, V1, N over N minus one, everything into P2. That's why we had to calculate, the, we had to calculate this pressure. All right, into uh, to the exponent of n minus one over n like this. And I said that if we do not have a clearance, this V1 is equal to Vs, which is our swept volume in cubic meters. If they wanted you to calculate power, you were going to use the same formula, but you use not V1, the swept volume, no. You use Ve, which is in cubic meters per second. I explained that. So that's the difference of our formula. Only that, that's the difference. That's where our formula is limited now. We need V1. V1, V1 is the one that we need, the swept volume, not VE. But if you check, they gave us not V1, but they gave us VE. It's a temptation that you have there. Cubic meters per minute, it's VE. If you, if the moment you use the VE, VE in cubic meters per second, you're obtaining kilojoules per hour, the kilojoules per second, that is work done. That is, that, that is the power, not work done. There we need work done, not power. We need work done. So I said there's a relationship that you can, to, uh, you can take. Since we know uh, that V1 that we want on our formula there is equal to Vs, which is the uh, the stroke volume. And I said there is a relationship that is there between Vs, the stroke volume, and V1. Remember on our introduction, guys, I said Ve is equal to Vs times N, the speed. So to find Vs, uh, since here it is a what? A single acting. It means I'm just going to use this N. If it was a double, I was going to use two. So I simply divide by N, by N here to find what? Vs. So Vs, which is equal to V1 that I want, it is going to be Ve over N, just like that. So we need the Vs there, not V1. We need the V1 in cubic meters per cycle, kilojoules, work done. We have Ve, but if you check now, the units, I said these two, they go, they use same units like per, per unit type. If we check, we're given revolutions per minute there as our speed. So if these are revs per minute, I said this must be in cubic meters per what? Per minute also, so that your Vs will be cubic meters. Remember that I talked about this. So our Ve, it's already in cubic meters per minute. So I'm not, convey, I'm not changing anything there. I'm just gonna take the 15 as it is, the speed also is in revs per minute. I'm not going to change anything there. 15 over 280. All right, so for, for the sake of obtaining exact values, let's, let us just use it as it is. I'm not going to write as a decimal. So this is now in cubic meters, Vs. And this Vs is equal to V1. Remember I said V1 is equal to Vs. So thus we're going to have the work done. Work done is P1, the pressure at the inlet P1. 110 times V1, you can write it as a decimal, it's fine, or you can take it as it is, 15 over 
280 times n. Remember our n is 1,2, so that's 1,2 over n minus 1, which is 1,2 minus 1. 1,2 minus 1, so that's it here into. Remember, we calculated P2. That was the reason, because we're going to need this. 789,583 over P1, which is 110. So this whole thing to the exponent of n minus 1, 1, 1,2 minus 1 over 1,2 minus 1. Since we used the swept volume, which is our V1, in cubic meters, this is giving us kilojoules per cycle, which is just kilojoules, not per second. But if we use V1, I mean this VE, as cubic meters per second, we are now obtaining kilojoules per second, which is power. But this one, it's not like that. It's not per second. So it is work done. That's the difference that you have between work done and power. So that was going to give you direct the work done, which is 13,75 uh, kilojoules. So let's say you are someone who used or who want to use the VE. You will have to convert your answer later on. You have to convert your answer later on. Okay, you have to convert your answer later on. Let me just try to do this quickly. Uh, this is, this is work done, we are done here. All right, remember if you use the formula here with, uh, sorry, let me just remove this. I just want to remove this part so that it just changes one thing here. I'm saying we, maybe you're someone who calculated from power because you are given their uh, VE and you want to calculate this, you calculate power is equal to uh, P1 VE. Uh, remember, this is cubic meters per second to have kilojoules per second. And I said power. So this is another way. Power is equal to work done per second. Remember, on the introduction, I talked about that. Power is work done per second. And if it is work done per second, we converted from work done per cycle. We converted from work done per cycle. Remember, we multiplied by the speed to convert the power. We had to multiply by the speed in revs per second to get the power. So meaning to say, if you calculate the power and you want the work done per cycle, you are going to divide by the speed. So it means work done per cycle is equal to power over what? Over N. Where power represents what? Where power represents work done per second, this one. So it simply means the work done per cycle, which is the work done in kilojoules that we want. It is going to be power over N, where power is what? It's work done per second over N in revs per second. So that's what you wanted there. In order for you to use this formula, you have to calculate power, which is work done per second. If you use VE, then you calculate work done per cycle now by dividing by the revolutions per second, not per minute, but per second. So this is what I'm trying to say. Let us just see if it is going to make us uh, or it's going to make sense. So you are going to take this one as it is your power, which is work done per second. It's P1. Remember, our P1 was given as what? Uh, 110 here. So this was given as 110 times VE. Our effective volume there is what? It's 15. But we are supposed to divide it by 60Y per minute so that it becomes per second times any 1,2 over 1,2 minus 1 into what we multiply uh, P2 over P1. So there we were going to multiply our P2. We already have the pressure. We, that is why we, 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 we calculated this, all right? So we're just gonna substitute as it is uh, P2, 789,583 over P1, uh, 110 to the exponent of what? This 1,2 minus 1 over 
minus one like this. So I want you to be careful on the formulas that you are using. It's all about the units that you are getting there. The units are very, very important because what you are calculating in the first place, what is it? It is the power. And what are the units that are, I expect to have when I'm working with power? I'm expecting to obtain what? Kilojoules per second, which is work done per second. Kilojoules per second, I said, it's work done per second. Not just work done, but per, per second. So this here, because we used this one, VE in cubic meters per, per second, as we know. That will give us what we call the power. Not the work done, but the power in the kilojoules, which is work done per second. So that is the idea there. So the power there, which is work done per second, was going to be 64,167. Okay, that was going to be uh, the idea that you're going to get this. All right, uh, 64,167 which is the kilojoules per second, which is what? The kilowatt, kilojoules per second, kilowatt. But the relationship is stating that in order for you to have the work done per second uh, from that formula that I wrote before, I say to have the work done per second, no, no, not, not work done per, per, per second, I mean the work done per cycle, that one that we are given there, to obtain the work done, which is the work done per cycle, it is going to be work done per second over the speed in reps per second. So you are going to take the power, which is work done per second, over N. That is, this, that is the idea that you have the work done. So the work done, if you calculate it from the formula of power, if you use VE, if you use VE, that is what you're going to do. So your work done per second is this one, the kilojoule per second, which is the power. So that is what? Uh, 64,167 over the speed n, but it's supposed to be revolutions per second, not per minute. Our n was 280 revs per minute, but we need this per second. So it's 280 over 60. So it's just going to be 280 over 60 like this. So this automatically gives your answer in kilojoules, which is what? Uh, the work done. We are now talking about the work done, not the power. It's no longer power. So that was the idea there. So this, uh, like I said, we're not going to get exactly the same answers as the previous case that we had. Uh, but this one was giving us exactly as that one, uh, which is 13,750 to three decimal places. 13,750 in what? In kilojoules. So this is how you play around with the formulas. So it's up to you. It's up to you. How do you want to take it? Are you, want to, are you going to take it from this traditional way that I have to convert the work done per second, the power? Or I just have to know what am I using here? If I use P1, V1 with the direct volume in the cubic meters, I am obtaining kilojoules, which is work done. But the moment that I use a volume per unit time in a second, I'm obtaining power, which is work done per second, not work done this one. So to convert to convert now to work done, I need the formula power over power over what? Over n. Power h, which is kilojoules per second, and revs per second. It gives us work done in kilojoules. But if you used the first formula, there's no need for you to convert anything. You just you have to work direct to Vs. You just have to use Vs, this one, in cubic meters. If you use cubic meters, you are obtaining work done, direct work done, or work done per cycle, not per, per, per time, not per second, not per minute, not per hour. But it's, it is just a direct or a normal work done. So that's it, August. Uh, I mean, this is November 2023 exam. More to come from Amazon African Motives.